Welcome back to the Friday 13th YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about a new release from a Canadian band called Spades GT. The band have just released their debut album called Sewer City Radio, and it's an interesting album mixture and blend of punk, hardcore, thrash metal. Check out Metalheads. This album would contain eight tracks, so I'm going to tell you who's in the band. The lineup for the band would be J.D. Percy on vocals, we'd have Dan Horton on guitars, we'd have Tyler Reiner on drums, and we'd also have on bass guitar James Ray Daly. Now this new young band from Canada, I've mentioned Tyler Reiner. His father's a very famous metal hard rock drummer, Rob Reiner from the band Anvil. That's right, folks. Tyler's father's Rob Reiner, an amazing drummer. It's influenced so many drummers in hard rock and metal, especially in the thrash metal scene. Now, this debut album was produced and engineered by Carl Merchant and also features a couple of guest musicians, guitarists. On lead guitar for the song Final Gale and Red would have Jay Shazaran. And on the lead guitar for the title track, Silver City Radio, would have Lips from the band Anvil. Oh yeah, Metalheads. Space GT, I've had the pleasure of sharing the stage with such bands as Anvil, would also have a Random Killing, Rip Chords, Day Glow Blotions, many of you out there may know this band, and many, many more bands. So now I'm going to tell you briefly what the songs sound like to me. The first song is called Hands. Now the first song, Hands, kind of reminds me of two bands. A little bit of Danzig, but more directed towards Volbeat. So if you're a fan of Volbeat, you're really going to enjoy this song. It's very well put together. It's very well produced. Some great vocals here, some fantastic playing. Like I say, it does have that American vibe of punk as well. Now vocalist John does have a hint of James Hatfield in his vocals and also the singer from Volbeat. So if you're a fan of James Hatfield and Volbeat singing, this is definitely a great song for you to check out. The song's called Hands. Now, the backing vocals on this song also reminds me a little bit of Offspring and also Misfits. So if you like the Offspring and Misfits, you're really going to like this song. Like I say it's called Hands. So you got a combination of Volbeat, Misfits, Offspring. Next song is called Cenobites. This kind of reminds me of much, pretty much of Offspring with Volbeat. So if you are a fan of Volbeat in particular, you're really going to like this album. So check it out. It's called Cenobites. It's a very interesting song. Some great harmony vocals, and it's very fresh and very influenced by American punk. Next song is called Final Gale. Very much inspired by Offspring, a little bit of Green Day in here, and maybe a bit, a bit of Poison Idea. Now, the next song is called Final Gale. This is very much inspired and influenced by American punk. Like I said before, there's definitely a lot of Offspring in this album, but there's also a little hint of Green Day. So if you like Offspring, Green Day, with a touch of all bait, then this is definitely an album that you need to check out. Certainly for the new modern age punk fans. So the young kids out there will be very influenced and very inspired by this album. Next song is Core Red. I particularly like this song because I like the bass guitar and drums. This song really punchy. The bass guitar is definitely very punchy. And it really has a fantastic drum sound. So the bass guitar and drums really do shine through on this song. So does the rest of the music and vocals. But particularly being a drummer myself, you can really hear a nice snappy snare drum. Really solid sound, but the bass guitar is very much like a clicky Steve Harris, but it mixes well. Like I said, the rhythm section's really well put together. I guess you could say this could be an overkill song. This typical type of thing overkill would do is like a punk song. So if you like the, the vibe of overkill from New York mixed with the punk, then this song is probably going to appeal to you. It's not a thrash song, but it's just got that vibe of overkill when they do the, like, the punk elements. This song also has a vibe of Motorhead. So the blend of Overkill, Motorhead and Punk really does mix well for this song. Me personally, I think this is the best song on the album. So check this one out, folks. It's called Red. Next song is Sewer City Radio. This pretty much has the vibe of Metallica. Also has the vibe of Volbeat. So the vibe of Metallica and Volbeat really work well in favour for this song. So if you want to check this one out, guys, and you like your Volbeat and your Metallica, then this is a perfect song for it. It's the title track of the album. It's very well put together, some nice interesting vocals, very influenced by uh, Volbeat Singer, but it's a really, really good song, so catch your parts in it. It's called So A City Radio, the title track of the album. So there's a rough cut down of the album. You get the vibe now, you get the Metallica, you get your Volbeat, you get a little hint of Motorhead, Phil Campbell and Bastard Sons, Offspring, and the list goes on. So if you like your hardcore punk, this is definitely an album for you. I'm going to leave you a link to check out a song from the album. I'm also going to leave you a link so you can contact the band to purchase this album. So I'm going to give this album four out of five. But what it is, it's well produced, interesting punk music for people out there like punk music and a little bit of hardcore. So thanks for watching, Metalheads. Be safe. My album review is coming soon. Thanks for watching.